Hi everyone, this is Elizabeth with 217 Creations and I'm here today to share with you my latest mini that I've just completed. Um, I used a lot of stuff for my stash but hopefully you will find some inspiration with this project that will allow you to find things that you may already own or could easily find in um, craft and fabric stores. So let's get started. Um, the paper for the whole album has been done with K and Company Americana Collection. Um, I found it at Joanne. It was not with the normal K and Company stuff. It was on um, like an island spinner. So I don't know if it's just a promotional set that they have, but it is really a fabulous set. It has glitter. It has um, metallics. It has mattes. It has um, red, white, blue, and then infusions of like browns and gold. So you'll see that as I go through the mini here. Um, the ribbon, this is all from just my stash. Just I'm a hoarder. <laughs> what can I say? So um, I just used those. It was bound with a cinch. And this is the antique brass uh, one and a quarter um, rings. These are just little puff balls I found in the Joanne um, dollar bin last year. Um, and I don't even think I paid a dollar because I remember I picked them up um, sometime around Labor Day. So um, really great little pom-poms. You can find those easily in Hobby Lobby, Michaels, or Joanne. Um, on the front, I had some gross grain white, kind of off-white accru ribbon. And what I did with it, I'm going to bring it up so you can see, is I used Pink by Design stamps. Um, I am such a huge fan of Pink by Design. I use um, Sarah stamps constantly in projects. But uh, this one here is from a collection called Red, White, and Blue. And this one says, Proud to be an American. This one says, red, white, and blue forever. And this one says, let freedom ring. And so I just stamped those with archival or you could use stays on, works really well on fabric also. And just went ahead and stamped those and then mounted the ribbon onto the base of the book. And I used some twine, I'm really into twine lately. This little doodad here, um, or big one I should say, is um, from my junk pile. I have a tote of just, odds and ends of metal things that I find at uh, garage sales or flea markets or um, one of the stamping stores here in Kansas City. She had a whole big um, box of them last year for her garage sale and I just dug and dug and dug and that's where this one came from. It's been mounted onto the book with E6000 so it's nice and sturdy and not going anywhere. These little stars that you see here were actually um, brads and what I did is I used little nippers and nipped the metal prongs off the back so then they would lay flat on my book. And then here on the front, this is Liberty and it's cut from the Cricut cartridge, Stand and Salute. And I love that cartridge, it's a fun one. The book itself, the shape, is made from a Cricut cartridge called Elegant Edges. And if you're interested in the Cricut Gypsy file, I have it on my blog free for download. So you're more than welcome to visit 217creations.com and um, look for this project. It'll be categorized under mini albums um, if it's not on the home page. And from there, you can download the free file. So let's go ahead and open up and get started here. Um, you can see these papers are just really, really sophisticated. I love it. It's not cartoony at all. It's, it truly is Americana. So it's got that nostalgic feel to it, which I really love. This little bottle cap was just something I had in my stash. Um, it says Drink Stars and Stripes, so kind of a fun little addition there. Um, over here I tried something new on my mini this time. Usually I make pockets and tags to hide stuff and put pictures in and this time I decided to really focus on maybe a new way of um, being able to add things later um, after 4th of July because that's what this album will be used for. And what I did is I wrapped this ribbon around on both sides but it's bound really tight and sealed on this side underneath this pretty ribbon part. And I've left it loose so you could totally slide tags and pictures or mementos underneath there on both sides. I thought that was kind of fun. And then added some lace on this one. Um, all the mats in here are cut at three and a half inches on the big side and three and a quarter on the small side. Here's another one. Once again, three and a half on the large three and a quarter on the small size. Um, this is not actually paper that's printed this way. Um, it's going to be hard to see in the video. I'm going to try and bring it up. But you can see the dots and dashes. It looks like elementary school paper. And that is a background stamp from Pink by Design called Let's Write Backgrounder. 
and um, it's fun. So I love to journal. I always have to have something for journaling. So I added a few of these into the book. And the album itself, when it cuts off the Cricut cartridge, it has all these little holes, like little round holes along the side. And I just used that as an opportunity to add a lot of different ribbons. Um, added some more of those flat brads. Here's another ribbon binding. I don't know what you would want to call it. Well, maybe a ribbon slider. I'm not sure. Um, here's another spot for pictures. And of course, just some rhinestones. Love tool. Always want to use tool. And then some really pretty lace I had on hand. And this is a good example of some of the glitter that's inside this pack. But as you can see, it's not um, really like in your face. It's got a really nice sheen to it. Very, very sophisticated. Um, here's that Let's Write backgrounder again. And then on this side, I did the photo mats. And they're three and a half inches on the large, three and a quarter on the inside. This on the side, I really wish I could tell you that I could draw that straight, but I can't. Um, for that, I used an easy stitcher. And let me show you what that looks like. This is what I used. It's like a little template made out of stencil material and you just line it up and then with a Signo Uniball white pen I just follow the template and so that's what gives me these really great lines that look like I can actually draw when I really can't. So um, that's always fun. Uh, once again let me show it to you again because this was a little tricky for me to find. I finally found it on um, uh, eBay is where I ended up finding it. Um, and the reason why it was difficult is because I was told it was made by Paper Pizzazz, which it is, but um, it was labeled under hot off the press. So I don't know if someone acquired one or the other and it kind of changed in the process, but um, I noticed when I bought this that they also had other ones. So I might give a few of these a try because I really enjoyed having this. Um, my only complaint on this product is that I wish that it was um, a full 12 inches just for um, those scrapbookers out there that like to do 12 by 12. I usually do minis and cards, so for me it's not a big deal. But I really, really love this product. It's great. It's got little holes if you want to three ring bind it. But that's what I used for that. Um, of course I inked all the edges. That's what gives it a nice depth. And those were all inked with color box and chestnut, which is a chalk ink. And then I left the back really plain, um, but as you can see, as with most of my minis, I love to jam it packed with ribbon and stuff like that. So it becomes almost like a home decor piece, so it can actually stand on a coffee table or on the mantel. Um, and I just absolutely love this one, and I was really excited to get to share it with you. So I hope you enjoyed my mini, and if you have any questions, feel free to message me or email me. Um, I really love to have comments, subscribers, and followers. And once again, if you want more details or to see um, pictures up close and in detail, please visit my blog at www.217creations.com. And I hope you have a great day. Thank you once again for taking the time to watch my video and leave comments. Bye-bye.